This is a tale about the interaction between humans and animals and how they can coexist side by side. Sometimes the rescue of one can profoundly change the life of the other. In 2008, a young man finished his studies. Instead of simply indulging in parties and the usual entertainment, he was filled with wanderlust. But instead of luxury resorts, he was drawn to remote villages. He observed the daily lives of the locals and engaged with the wildlife. Rather than traveling by train or plane, he drove his high-end SUV, a gift from his father. With all that horsepower, the vehicle beckoned him to push boundaries. One day, as he sped down a desolate road surrounded by dense forest, the scene was serene. Not a soul in sight, just him, the road, the trees, and the vast sky overhead. Clouds loomed, hinting at impending rain. With loud music blaring and speedometer climbing, a deer suddenly darted across the road. He tried to swerve to avoid it, but it was too late. He crashed headlong into a tree and blacked out. When he came to, he found himself in clean clothes, lying on a bed in an unfamiliar setting. It dawned on him that he wasn't in a hospital, but in a village home. The decor was simple, a bed, a table, a stove. As he pondered and gazed at the curtains, an elderly man entered the room, noticing the young man's regained consciousness. The man smiled, relieved to see him awake. He handed him a glass of water and inquired about his well-being. When asked if he remembered the accident, the young man shook his head, unable to recall anything post-collision or how he ended up in that house. The elder began to share the story of what had transpired. His tale started two years prior to the accident. The man who had aided the crash victim was a forest ranger living at the forest edge for many years. One day during his patrol, he heard the distressed cries of a bear cub. Upon investigating, he discovered a mother bear, apparently shot by poachers. While she had managed to escape them, she succumbed to her injuries. Beside her, the tiny cub was trying desperately to rouse her. Moved by compassion, the ranger took the cub home. His wife tended to the creature, providing food and water. Over time, the bear grew and became a part of the ranger's family. Even as he grew to a formidable size, he remained peaceful, guarding the ranger's property. Everyone in the vicinity knew it was risky to enter the ranger's land without permission. Yet, despite his imposing stature, the bear was gentle to those who approached in peace. They even let him roam the forest freely, but he always returned. On the day of the accident, the bear was foraging in the forest. Suddenly, he heard the loud crash of a car colliding with a tree. Drawn by curiosity, he approached the scene to find the young man lying unconscious. The bear sniffed him cautiously and through his actions alerted the ranger who came to the injured man's aid. Realizing that the man was unconscious and hurt, the bear seemed to decide to help. Gently gripping the man's collar with his teeth, he dragged him to the ranger's home. The ranger, having been worried about his furry companion who usually would have returned from his walk by then, feared something might have happened to him in the forest. However, from a distance, he spotted his bear moving unusually. As he got closer, he noticed the bear carrying something large in its mouth. At first, he thought it was prey, but as he approached, he recognized the unconscious man. His initial thought was that his bear might have harmed the man. Yet, upon closer examination and seeing no signs of bear paws or teeth marks, but only bruises and scrapes, he realized the man had probably been in a car accident. He quickly brought the injured man inside, cleaned him up, dressed him in fresh clothes, and tended to his wounds. He cared for the man as if he were his own son. Days went by with the man remaining unconscious and the ranger was beginning to lose hope of his recovery. But one day the man's eyes fluttered open. The ranger shared the remarkable tale of his rescue by the bear. At first, the man couldn't believe it, but when the ranger told him to look down, he was astonished. There, right beside the bed, lay a massive bear, gazing quietly into his eyes with no intention of causing fear. Two weeks passed, and the man's health rapidly improved. The first time he stepped outside, his new animal friend was waiting for him. The bear treated the man with the same kindness as he did his owner, even allowing him to scratch his belly and ears. The two quickly became close friends. When the day came for the man to return home, saying goodbye was incredibly difficult. Yet, he began to visit his animal savior regularly thereafter. This is an extraordinary story where a bear, once saved by a human, now came to the aid of another in distress. It seemed as if the bear recognized that the ranger could help this man just as he had once helped him. Without hesitation, he brought the unconscious man to his master, granting him a chance at life, a chance he himself had once received through the kindness of a human.